Hey everybody, it's Brandon Sedroka. So we're going to do another grow. This time a comparison grow between nutrient and regular water using Calabrese broccoli. Last time I grew broccoli, I grew Waltham 29, but this time we're growing Calabrese. So I've got a cup here, an empty cup, and I'd already put it on there and zeroed it out. And we're going to grow 50 grams. I've got two cups here. 50 grams each. There we go. 50 grams each of uh, Calabrese broccoli. One with water only and the other one with nutrient water. Water versus nutrient. Nutrient, water. They look identical right now. I went ahead and decided to leave the dome off. Normally I maximize the grow and I let it get taller under the blackout dome to about right here or so. That way they can spread out, but I'm going to leave the blackout dome off at this point and we'll just do a comparison. Um, it should lower the amount of days till harvest and give the water a chance. For those of you who want to do completely organic and not use nutrient, uh, give the water a chance. So we'll just go from here, put it underneath the lights, and see what happens. This is later the same day. Nutrient and water. I just wanted you to see the difference already between the nutrient, which is taller and greener, than the non-nutrient or plain water. very next morning you can see the difference for sure some would say the one on the left is ready to harvest a nutrient uh, at this level and it certainly could be it's got nice cotyledon leaf the one on the right is not ready but we want this to get a little bigger a little bigger cotyledons anyway We'll continue with the grow. You look closely at this grow, the nutrient grow. You can see that there's small true leaves starting to appear, and this one's ready to harvest. I'll probably harvest that today. And then the other side, you can see a lot of the cotyledons are really tiny. And um, it's not ready to harvest yet. There's no true leaves, let alone the cotyledons aren't spreading very well. It's not nearly as mature, it seems. But we're going to let this go, despite harvesting this one, we're going to let this one go for a number of days longer. I don't know how much longer yet, just to see if it can mature to something near this. So that's what we're going to do. So now we've got the broccoli out here, the nutrient side. We're going to keep the water side, water only side, still in there to let it continue to grow for as many days as it takes to get close to something like this. Um, I suspected that micros actually need uh, some kind of nutrient just as soon as they start putting out roots and that um, seed holes themselves don't provide enough of what a seed needs to reach maturity. I think I think it has some degree, so I think it's legitimate to a degree. Um, but I think really um, what people use to grow it in, the peat or the cocoa core or something like that, I think that has something also to do with that. I think there's stuff in there that the roots can find. So we're going to continue with the experiment, and I'll let you judge for yourself. So we'll get to harvesting, and boom, here we go. Alright, I'm back. 
it's a nice mat here. I get as close as I feel like getting. I'm not a, I'm not an expert at microgreens at all, especially with harvesting. Um, that's not my bailiwick. Uh, the style of growing is my bailiwick. So yeah, you can probably harvest better than I do. And um, I should put that and save it for my worm, dang it. Anyway, um, yeah. I, I'm not an expert in every aspect of microgreens. I've never tried to be. I don't want to be that person. Um, but consistent grows, beautiful, healthy grows, nothing there, thick, dense grows, healthy roots, um, no media waste, really. I mean, you've got this. Um, I mean, no compost and, you know, having to throw a lot of stuff on a compost pile. There is compostable stuff if you don't want to use that. And that is something somebody brought up. You could use the roots and all that. Yeah, you could you could pull this out of the screen and um, use the whole thing if you want. It's not a big deal. Now, this broccoli is a different variety of broccoli. I think this is Calabrese, and I, I grew it last year. The last broccoli grow was Waltham 29, um, which is a little different. Well, it's a different broccoli variety. Um, so I'm not going to taste it, but this entire grow is going to go in my um, microgreen flakes, I call them. And I'm also going to make a microgreen salt out of the microgreen flakes. So all I do with that is I just take these, put them in the dehydrator, and dehydrate them down, dehydrate them down, dry them out. <laughs> and process them, uh, basically put them in a blender. So I'm gonna do that, there's a video coming up on that. I'm also, this is, this is a comparison grow, I'm gonna do another comparison grow. Uh, the, someone mentioned it in the comments and it sparked my interest, I can go ahead and do it. Something um, that you should know, an upcoming video, maybe the difference between growing hydroponically with, um, water soluble nutrient like master blend or and I'm going to compare that to growing with an organic uh, fertilizer liquid kelp I do have liquid kelp on hand so I'm going to go ahead and do that grow I'm not sure if I'm going to do it with broccoli though broccoli is just a good all-around um, microgreen to do testing on so I, I think I will go ahead and do it with broccoli so you can see the consistency be between this grow and the next grow and compare the two so yeah, this is enough for now. I'll do a wait on this, and then we'll wait on the other one with water only, which is also hydroponic water. Um, and we'll do a wait on that one and, and see how much longer it takes to grow, if it will fully mature, and all that good stuff, just for fun. We're here at the basic way in here. We got an empty container and a glass. The glass is gonna raise the micros up so you can see the scale clearly. I'll go ahead and just do it instead of talking about it. <laughs> well, let me turn it on. Put that on. We put an empty container, the same as what the micros are holding, or what's holding the micros. But we need to get a weight on the micros only, so we put that on there and zero it out. Now, that negative balance is the weight of the container. Now, whatever comes of a reading here is going to be the weight of the actual micros. Oh, it's 1.26 pounds. It's actually a lot better than I was expecting. 574 grams, 20.25 ounces. And that's kind of, ex I kind of expected a lighter grow with this one because we didn't grow for stem length and mass product as I talk about also in the book. And so, yeah, that's still a pretty good way. So now we're going to wait, and I'll bring you back when it's time to do the water only. I still don't think we're there yet. I think this is three days later, maybe four. These are the micros after many days. I'll put the number of days in the video here. And they are just getting to where they're not improving at all. It almost looks like they're kind of stuck. 
in stasis, if you will. Um, so yeah, we're gonna harvest it. Hey everybody, this is the exciting conclusion. <laughs> Nutrient versus water. Uh, so yeah, as you've probably seen, I showed a close up of these. It doesn't look like it grew as well, but we're gonna get a weight on it. I We just had flat, flash floods and tornadoes all around us here, so everything is absolutely drenched and you can probably see the river behind me flowing through my yard. Uh, it's really not funny. It was pretty bad earlier today. So anyway, before it picks up again, let's get to harvesting. Yeah, it just doesn't look nearly as good to me. Uh, it, just, it doesn't look as healthy. Um, the leaves don't look as like they've expanded as much. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm not even going to eat it probably. Not probably, I'm not going to. It's gonna become worm food. So anyway, I'm gonna to get to harvesting and um, looking to see, I thought I saw now yeah, some uh, true leaf growing. Cotyledon is barely spread. So let me get to harvesting, I'll speed you up now. All right, we're done, and this is the take. I can already tell it's going to be less because there's less in the uh, container. And I'm going to go ahead and put the little leftovers on the table on here because I'm not going to eat it. The worms are. So, a lot of people. I did this grow because a lot of people ask, or actually they tell me, you know, you can grow uh, microgreens using the seed nutrient only you don't have to add anything to them and so anecdotally that didn't appear right to me so that's the purpose of this grow I'm also doing another comparison right now where I use liquid kelp in two different uh, formulations along with water and nutrient and I'm going to see if there's ways to grow organically uh, for some of you guys out there who want to grow organically uh, but my opinion is that at least with broccoli and we're doing cabbage next it needs nutrients <laughs> the seed is not capable of providing enough to full maturity that's what I saw here they never reached full maturity let's get a weight on that verify that and uh, yeah, move on to the next one. It's time for the weigh. Turn on the scale. We're going to use a glass to elevate it so you can read the screen. We're using an empty tub. That is the exact match of the one the microgreens are in. So we're going to put that tub on the glass. If you're watching my channel regularly, you're probably getting tired of me saying this. But it's for the new people. The detail. Let me put the camera down just a little bit. Okay, so let's zero it out. Put this on the side. Add the microgreens on there and get a weight. 325 grams. It is 11.45 ounces if you can't see it. And 0.7 pounds. And I'm going to put this back here just a little bit and I'll rummage through these so you can see nothing but regular microgreens. That's what we always do here. And I'll get you an up close look at it and I'll even do a taste test even though I really don't want to taste it. <laughs> All right, here they are up close. I got some of the best examples I could find in there. And there's no issue at all. There's no disease. There's no... Uh, anything wrong with the grow other than the micros or the, the microgreens are very delicate. They're not nearly as robust from what I'm noticing. I'll, I'll look at it in editing. So anyway, let's do a taste test. Mmm. 
definitely a lot less in mouthfeel. Still has that good flavor though. I'm messing up my pretty display. Why am I trying to straighten it out for you? This is stupid. <laughs> hmm. Definitely got the broccoli taste. It's just, I don't know, it's not, doesn't have any substance to it. Maybe, maybe even a little fibrous by comparison. Anyway, that's it for this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure love you guys doing when you subscribe and leave comments, even if you don't like it. And if you leave a negative comment, I don't mind it. Tell me why you left the negative comment, though. Let's talk about it. Maybe I can improve. This is Brent. We'll see you later.